We've been positive this week, we train well, the uh, lads have worked hard again, as, as they've generally done throughout the season. Um, result of Mansfield was a good result, but you know, it's only three points, it's very much on to the next and we're preparing ourselves for a tough game at the weekend. And how are the score looking injury-wise with Craig Woodman and Troy Brown? Can we get an update on those two? Troy's had a surgery today, um, fingers, fingers crossed it went, it went well. Um, we'll only know the full extent when we speak to the surgeon. Um, and, and the physio again, so Woody's probably two or three weeks away. Um, he knows his body better than anyone, so we won't rush, rush him in terms of his recovery time. Um, but they're both important players for us, so it's disappointing not to have them at this time of year, but the rest of the squad have stepped up when they've had to, um, and we've got to do the same at the weekend. And of course there was a reserve game in midweek, which was a 7-0 win for City. I suppose it's good to see a few names really pushing themselves for the first team. Yeah, definitely. Look, we played against a young Forest Green team, which was disappointing from our point of view. You, you enter a reserve team league thinking it's going to be majority of pros playing in games like that. So we, we can't control certain aspects of those games. Um, but the lads who played certainly went about the business in the right way. Um, some really good positive performances, some, some minutes for the players who needed the minutes. Um, the young boys got some more exposure to, to proper football as well. So look, games like that will benefit us in the long run. Um, and obviously people have put their hand up for a place this weekend. Uh, you've mentioned you need players to come to the first team and really hit the ground running. Are those sort of games really important throughout the season? Yeah, of course they are. But also, we, you know, the, the West Ham game next week, that's going to be important. Um, I've said we've got a small squad and every player's got to be ready and, and available to play for the first team. And it just keeps the fitness up, keeps the morale up, gives them game time when they need to. Um, the more high quality games we can get these players, the, the better up they'll be from it. You know, the Yeovil game was a sort of the start of our, our, our two game run really where we've won both games. Hopefully we can continue that at the weekend and then push on to West Ham. When you've had two good results in the league, is it just a case of ensuring that those standards that got you those wins are maintained? Um, our standards don't change regardless of results to be honest with you. We, we aim for high standards. Uh, the players have got their own standards they need to keep to. Um, we know how tough this weekend is going to be. You know, Mansfield away is, is, is seen as a tough fixture throughout the, the league campaign. Cheltenham at home with a new manager fighting for the lives is going to be a really tough game for us. So we had it partly against not scouting in terms of new manager and a, a team in transition, but he's had time to work with his, his players now. So he'll have put in some of his processes into their players, um, but we've got to be ready for that and, and match them. And then if we play with the intensity and desire and, and give the same work rate we have in recent weeks, then it's going to be a good game. And the fact that there's a new manager again, is it quite tough to, to, you have to be prepared for everything really, don't you? Yeah, definitely. I've just said to the players, um, you're never too sure what formation, what tactics they'll use. Um, we plan we best we possibly can, but ultimately it's about our performance and the way we approach the game. If our mindset's right and, and the way we go about our business is, is proper in terms of respecting the game of football, then we'll give ourselves a chance. Look, it's going to be difficult, it always is. You see the weather's starting to change. A bit more winter football, I say, a bit more League Two winter football. So, look, there'll be more development at the stand, at the ground in terms of the stand as well. So, it's, the players are looking forward to seeing that progress being made. Um, we've got to keep making progress on the pitch as well. Do you think that can make any real difference in terms of the development, um, having four sides fully functioning? Well, only time will tell. Uh, it'd be great when, when fans are in those stands. It really will. It's, it's been you know, two sides of the ground with, with no fans, has been surreal for the past sort of 12 to 18 months. But the players have coped with it pretty well. Our home form has been good. Um, the, the players are just pleased to see the developments at the ground. They really are. It's been such a long time without two big parts of the ground in terms of the two stands there. So, look, like I say, we'll all be happy when there's fans in those stands. But for the meantime, we want to see the progress. But you know, we've got to concentrate on the pitch. We really have.